the Second Avenue Deli, the Carnegie Deli, Katz's, and Ben's. What would American Jewish life be without the delicatessen? As a Jewish person, you're always kind of connected to this food, whether or not it's always around. And it's not just Jews. These world-renowned delis draw customers who are quite famous in their own right. At Katz's, you might run into Johnny Depp or Spike Lee. At the Carnegie Deli, you just might see Nicolas Cage or Steven Spielberg. And no matter the deli, one of the Jewish kings of comedy can't be far. So look out for Jerry Seinfeld and Ben Stiller. What keeps these celebrities and others coming back is, of course, the food. I'm about to try pastrami for the first time ever. Pastrami and corned beef on rye with a side of Russian, but the matzo ball soup is excellent. For me, coming from outside of New York, there aren't that many places that have the quality of meat and deli food that you can get here. What goes into the making of such quality deli meat is explored in the documentary Divine Food, 100 Years in the Kosher Delicatessen Trade, which tells the story of the Oshowitz family and the passion they've put into making and selling kosher pastrami, corned beef, and other classic deli fare for over a century. As the Oshowitz family continues to produce great deli meats, the average Jew experiences these staples in delicatessens, where they're served in mass quantities. At Carnegie, the motto is... If you can put your mouth around that we made a mistake. I've never seen something like this huge. I've never seen a sandwich so big. I think this place is going to bring Canada and the United States closer together. <laughs> Carnegie's house specialty sandwich, the Broadway Danny Rose, is named for the Woody Allen movie, which was shot at the deli. And we have our corned beef, which is the shoulder of the cow. And what he's doing, he's going to combine it. Look at that. Why'd you make the joke? You know what he made? Do you realize he made the children's portion? Unbelievable. And if you're going to eat this food, you should know how to order it in proper deli slang. A pistol is a pastrami. Whiskey is rye. Down is toast. Takes a shot. Means it has uh, Russian dressing that is dressed and has coleslaw. So, so if you wanted a pastrami on rye toast with Russian dressing and a side of coleslaw, you'd say... Pistol on a whiskey down that is dressed and takes a shot. That kind of familiarity can only come from a family business. For the Oshawitzes, family has always been the glue that's held their business together. And our New York delis are no different, with a commitment to quality food and a friendly family atmosphere. We make our own products, and it's made the old-fashioned way. And we won't compromise on recipes. Here you can have an interaction with the counterman. I, that piece is a little too fatty for me. I don't, tell you, give me more extra lean, blah, blah, blah. And it's a, it's a nice interaction with uh, the, the customers and the counterman. What makes Ben special is our people. We have great food with the kibitzing. We love to, uh, to schmooze with our customers. And our customers are part of our family. As in any family, people in the deli business have their differences. The Oshawitz family's meats are strictly kosher. And Ben's and the Second Avenue Deli also only carry kosher meat. But Katz's and the Carnegie are what's known as kosher style. A lot of the products start out kosher, but the second we handle them, as you know, it, it's, it's not really kosher. This is what we consider it kosher style because we have tray fare. And I'm not going to list the tray, but I guess you know what the tray is. That means you can have a bagel with lox and cream cheese or a huge slice of cheesecake for dessert mixing dairy foods with meat, and the customers don't seem to mind. But at the end of the day, whether you're a celebrity or an average Joe, a New Yorker or a tourist, a Jew or a non-Jew, there's only one way to get the true deli experience. Try the pastrami. <laughs>